ओम शांति टुडे इज 27 मार्च 2023 मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बाप दादा मधुबन इज सेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन बिकम एज फियरलेस एज द फादर लेट यूर स्टेज बी दैट ऑफ अ डिटैच ऑब्जर्वर एंड रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंटली चेयरफुल only by staying in remembrance will your final thoughts lead you to your destination question what method do fortunate children adopt in order to remain constantly fresh and cheerful answer is they bath and knowledge twice a day people generally bath twice in order to remain fresh you children also have to bath and knowledge twice a day this brings many benefits number 1 you always remain cheerful number 2 you remain happy and fortunate number 3 all types of doubt are removed number 4 you remain safe from the company of those influenced by maya number 5 the father and teacher is pleased number 6 you become beautiful flowers and remain in limitless happiness song awaken o brides awaken the new age is about to come om shanti shiv baba sits here and explains to your children through the mouth of brahma this is the gaumukh mouth of a cow nandigan is the mouth of a bull you heard the song the bridegroom says this to the brides not only females are brides even males are brides all of those who perform devotion and remember god are brides the bridegroom is just the one says is make spiritual endeavor to attain god therefore the two are brides who is that one god that one is called god the father a bridegroom comes to take his bride with him so all of you are brides you remember your bridegroom and so he definitely has to come he doesn't come for just one he has to come for everyone all the brides are unhappy they definitely have one or another disease or illness etc therefore this is hell in heaven there is happiness and in hell there is sorrow at this time all of us are the brides who are residents of hell that is all are in the jail of maya ravan the unlimited father only explains unlimited things the whole world is in jail this is called the land of sorrow dham is a place where we live there is sorrow in the iron age and happiness in the golden age the elevated words of shiva the god of the gita are there are the dt community and the devilish community he himself says brides the new age has now come this is the old world the bridegroom says now awaken the new age the golden age is now coming heaven was established through the gita the gita is the scripture of the dt religion of bharat and that dt religion has now disappeared it means that there is only as much trace of it as a pinch of salt in a sack full of flour there are pictures of it but no one considers himself to be a dt they have forgotten that there was the dt religion in the golden age and that it was called heaven when it is the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan they do not say this is heaven if they did they would also understand that there would be hell too we know all these secrets at this time it became heaven for 5000 years ago and it is now hell the lack of the dt religion has been broken none of those who relate the gita can explain these things the gita is the jewel of all scriptures only the god of the gita would make bharat into heaven with the gita then for half a cycle there is no need for the gita there 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 is just the reward baba himself says this knowledge disappears once again 
it disappears now we listen to new things every day those people have been listening to the 18 chapters who would say that that is new they have written the full 18 chapters here we continually study and have yoga this too takes time gyan and yoga are brother and sister baba says gyan is more elevated than dhyan because it is with knowledge that you are able to receive liberation in life no one here should say only if i have a vision will i make effort you can see the picture of shri krishna in front of you you will become such prince and princesses therefore it is up to you to become whatever you want you should believe that you do become princes and princesses the new age is now coming you will take birth as a prince where there is victory there will also be a jewel studded flute this is their symbol they have shown shri krishna with such a flute because he is a prince however there is nothing of knowledge there she baba alone is the ocean of knowledge that baba says children destruction is just ahead at the end there won't be anyone left to give you a mantra your final thoughts will lead you to your destination this has been remembered if you remember me at the end you will receive salvation you have been saying today tomorrow i can show you two to four instances of how people die suddenly at that time they are not able to remember a mantra for instance if the roof suddenly falls in would you be able to remember baba if the earth shakes you would begin to cry out in distress at that time if you practice this over a long period of time your stays will not fluctuate at that time you will continue to be a detached observer and remain cheerful when people hear even a little sound they run away out of fear you would never run anywhere there is no question of being afraid just as baba is fearless you children also have to be fearless baba says children the new age is now coming now ensure yourselves you ensure the whole of bharat you are ensuring bharat by taking power from the father bharat will become like a diamond then it depends on how much you ensure your life body mind and wealth are all ensured baba says this knowledge is something that gives instant fruit there is the example of sudama who instantly saw palaces therefore that was instant fruit was it not you also have visions of princesses and princesses however there are princesses and princes in the golden age and also in the silver age you can't tell where you would be a prince of not everyone will be able to become the sun dynasty all of those things are visions it isn't that a soul leaves a body and goes somewhere those visions too are fixed in the drama when a soul is invoked it isn't that that soul leaves his body and comes in that case that other body wouldn't be able to remain there all of those things are visions baba gives you visions in many different ways it is because it is fixed that a soul comes when invoked this significance of the drama has to be understood these are new things so you have to go to class regularly you know that very good people bath twice a day in order to stay fresh here too by bathing in knowledge twice you will stay fresh by bathing twice in knowledge you benefit a lot otherwise you would lose your sovereignty for nothing baba can check everything from the register who are those who are completely happy and fortunate you come to the unlimited father to claim limitless wealth and you become the masters of heaven if there isn't that much faith you wouldn't be able to claim a high status by bathing twice in knowledge you would stay very cheerful 
Baba says, I have become your guide and have come to take your children back home. I take you touring around everywhere so much. Those people go up above in aeroplanes and they are praised so much. In fact, you should be praised. You tour around heaven and come back here. This is something most wonderful, Baba says. I, the resident who leaves the farthest away, have come to this foreign land. Therefore, there is no question of omnipresent in this. You are messengers who give the message. I send you. This too is fixed in the drama. According to the drama, each one has to come to play his own part. Then I too have to come. I come and teach you. This is a Gita Patshala. You continue to go to those spiritual gatherings for birth after birth. You listened with one ear and it went out through the other. There was no aim or objective. Now there is the applause of happiness inside. Those who study well in their student life have a lot of happiness. There is also the happiness of the relationship of being a child. The teacher would also be happy here. There is also the mother, father and teacher. Therefore, you become happy. It is the children's duty to study. The father has come here personally. Therefore, listen to only the one father. You have been wandering around a great deal for half a cycle. Now stop wandering. However, that will happen only when you have full faith. People say that there are still so many years of the ironies left. When you tell them this knowledge, they say that all of it is your imagination and magic. Poor innocent mother just sit there with them. Baba pulls the mothers to him and those people who are influenced by Maya pull them to them. They are trapped in between. Baba explains, children, unless you bath in knowledge twice, there won't be benefit. Sometimes points sinamurli strike you in such a way like an arrow that your doubt ends. They never forbid anyone to go to any other spiritual gathering. They forbid you to come here because here there is the main aspect of remaining pure. Both husband and wife have to become pure. Here in the world a wife sacrifices herself on her husband's funeral because of believing that she will go to the land where he has gone. If the husband goes to hell, the wife also goes to hell. You both now have to make effort to go to heaven. Innocent ones are assaulted so much. Daughters see that they are not going to get married and then their families force them to get married. The father says, children, by you getting married in this final birth, your web of attachment will continue to increase. There will be attachment to your husband, then your children and then your parents' home and in-laws' home. Today, you may have a baby and you have a party. Then tomorrow, if the baby dies, there would be a lot of weeping and wailing. In the golden age, you will remain very happy. Baba says, children, make every home into heaven. Keep pictures there. Ask anyone who comes, will you become a master of heaven? Come and we will explain to you. Baba tells you very good slogans. By bathing in knowledge twice, your children will become very beautiful flowers and have limitless happiness. It is sad God's praise is limitless. So the praise of your happiness will also become limitless. The praise of the Gita is also limitless. You would say that you are becoming the masters of heaven through the Gita. No one apart from the one God would say awaken brides awaken. The new golden age is now coming. I the flame have come to ignite your light. The stada is also now an effort maker. Baba is telling you a new story for the new age. This is such a good song. 
this is a new path those people say that only from the scriptures can they find the path to god then they say all are god all is his praise we have come to this world to celebrate in happiness and we can eat and do whatever we want because souls are not affected by anything in order to fulfill their dirty desires they say that souls are immune to any effect of action never become trapped in the company of such people you are swans baba says you have to become completely pure to indulge in vice is criminal assault you might not listen to me now you might not become clean or become my helper but there will then have to be a lot of punishment by dharmraj just remember that god has shown you the new world you have come here to become masters of the new world therefore each of you should ask your heart am i a real child or a step child shri baba is the grand father brahma is the father and we are grand children this is god's family if you don't remember the grandfather how would you claim your inheritance this is why you definitely have to remember the grandfather how could you have the grandfather without the father there is the grandfather and you grandchildren there is surely also the father in between your grandchildren have a right over the grandfather this is why it is sad you definitely have to claim the property from the grandfather this is a matter of happiness we are making the fortune of bharat become like a diamond with the geeta of god shiva it is only the one geeta that makes you become like a diamond all the rest make you become like shells the fortune of bharat has been completely crossed out the father is now once again awakening the fortune of bharat people make a tiny locket of the geeta and wear it but no one knows the significance or importance of that the systems here are very strong you definitely have to become pure brahmins don't cheat and simply say mama baba only when you become true and real will you have that intoxication those who are not real will not have that intoxication god has gone crazy about making bharat into heaven once again therefore he is madly in love with bharat he makes bharat elevated once again a lover is crazy about a beloved therefore he is so madly in love with the people of bharat that he comes running here from so far away and he is so egoless acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 In order to claim the limitless wealth of knowledge from the unlimited father bath in knowledge twice a day definitely be regular in studying number 2 become a true and pure brahmin become a helper of the father never become trapped in the company of those who have dirty desires blessing may you be a true holy swan and please the lord with the cleanness of your body mind and heart cleanness means having purity in your thoughts words actions and relationships the color white signifies purity you holy swans are dressed in white and you have clean hearts that is you are embodiments of cleanness to be flawless in your body mind and heart means to be clean the lord is pleased with a clean mind and a clean heart and all the desires of such a soul are fulfilled the specialty of a swan is cleanliness and this is why brahmin souls are called holy swans slogan those who tolerate everything at this time become emperors those who tolerate everything at this time become emperor thank you baba ओम शांति